15 billion dollars, five mega projects, one make or break year. Adelaide is betting everything on 2026. Underground tunnels that could revolutionize traffic or become the most expensive holes in Australia. A particle accelerator promising to cure cancer. A space agency headquarters. Naval shipyards building Australia's defense future. But here's the thing about mega projects. They don't just succeed or fail quietly. They reshape entire cities, create thousands of jobs, or leave behind skeletal reminders of broken promises. 2026 is when Adelaide discovers which category these belong to. Let's find out. Project 1. Torrens to Darlington Underground. The Torrens to Darlington project represents a $15.4 billion gamble on whether you can tunnel under a living city without destroying it. Picture this. 4.5 kilometers of underground motorway carved through unpredictable geology beneath Adelaide's southern suburbs. We're talking about multi-lane tunnels deep enough to avoid existing infrastructure, wide enough for emergency vehicles, and complex enough to make engineers lose sleep. The challenge goes beyond the digging. Everything happens while you dig. Above ground, thousands of businesses are waiting for construction chaos to end. Traffic diversions that have lasted years. Noise, dust, and the constant rumble of machinery. Residents who've watched their neighborhoods transform into construction zones, wondering if the promised improvements will ever arrive. But 2026 changes everything. This is when the major tunneling phase must be completed or the entire project faces a reckoning. Here's why the timeline matters. Federal and state funding commitments expire. Political pressure intensifies. Cost overruns, already a concern, could spiral beyond recovery. The tunnel boring machines, each the size of a building, are operating on borrowed time. The geology isn't cooperating. Adelaide's underground is a mixture of clay, rock and groundwater that shifts without warning. Every metre of progress requires constant adjustment. Boring machines that work perfectly in Sydney or Melbourne hit unexpected obstacles here. Then there's the engineering nightmare of connecting this tunnel to the existing road network. You can't just pop up anywhere. The tunnel portals must align perfectly with surface roads, maintain proper gradients for heavy vehicles, and integrate with traffic management systems that are still being designed. The human cost keeps escalating. Local businesses report revenue drops of 30 to 50% during peak construction periods. Some have closed permanently. Others are hanging on, hoping 2026 brings relief instead of more delays. Without this underground link, the entire 78-kilometer north-south corridor remains incomplete. Decades of planning, billions in investment, all dependent on successfully completing the most technically challenging section. The decision point approaches fast. Continue with ballooning costs and unpredictable timelines, or abandon the most complex section and accept that Adelaide's traffic problems remain unsolved. Construction crews race against deadlines, public patience, political will, and the simple physics of moving earth and rock in a city that never stops moving above them. But if moving Earth is complex, try accelerating protons to two-thirds the speed of light. That's the impossible precision challenge facing Adelaide's next mega-project. Where the margin for error isn't measured in millions of dollars, it's measured in human lives. Project 2. Australian Bragg Centre Proton Therapy The Australian Bragg Centre houses something most people will never see a 220-ton cyclotron that accelerates protons to two-thirds the speed of light. This machine powers the Southern Hemisphere's first proton therapy facility, promising cancer treatment so precise it can target tumors while leaving surrounding healthy tissue untouched. But installing a particle accelerator in a hospital environment, that's where engineering meets impossibility. The cyclotron requires millimeter precision, Vibrations from nearby traffic, construction, or even footsteps can disrupt the magnetic fields that guide proton beams. The entire facility sits on isolation systems designed to eliminate vibration transfer. Then there's radiation shielding. Concrete walls, three meters thick, lead-lined rooms, specialized ventilation systems that prevent any radioactive particles from escaping. The building itself becomes a fortress, designed to contain forces that could power a small city. 2026 is when the first patients receive treatment, 
or the $185 million investment sits idle while technical problems get resolved. The timeline pressure is intense. Every month of delay means cancer patients continue traveling overseas for proton therapy. Australia loses ground in the global race for medical technology leadership. The specialized staff, recruited from around the world, start questioning whether Adelaide can deliver on its promises. Installation teams are working with equipment so sensitive that temperature changes of a few degrees can throw calibrations off. The magnetic field management alone requires constant monitoring and adjustment. Meanwhile, other countries are racing to establish proton therapy dominance. Singapore, Japan and European facilities are expanding capacity while Adelaide struggles to get its first system operational. The medical revolution potential is enormous. Proton therapy could save thousands of lives annually, reduce treatment side effects and position Adelaide as a global centre for advanced cancer care. But only if the technology works as promised, when promised. While doctors race to save lives with particle beams, across town another team faces a different impossibility. Transforming a century-old hospital into Australia's mission control for space operations. The challenge? making heritage buildings house technology that didn't exist when they were built. Project 3. Lot 14 Innovation Precinct. The former Royal Adelaide Hospital site could become Australia's Silicon Valley, or it could remain an expensive ghost town filled with good intentions. Lot 14 spans seven hectares in Adelaide's city centre. The vision? Transform heritage hospital buildings into cutting-edge technology hubs, house the Australian Space Agency headquarters, create mission control facilities for satellite operations, attract global tech companies and defence contractors. 2026 determines whether this vision becomes reality or remains a collection of renovated buildings waiting for tenants. The space race angle adds urgency. Australia is positioning itself as a key player in commercial space operations. Lot 14 houses mission control for satellite launches, space debris tracking, and communications with the International Space Station. But retrofitting heritage buildings for cutting-edge technology creates unique challenges. Original hospital structures weren't designed for the power requirements of data centers. Fiber optic networks must snake through century-old walls. Climate control systems need surgical precision to protect sensitive equipment. Defence industry integration brings classified complications. Some projects require security clearances, specialised construction techniques and communication systems that can't be compromised. Building secure facilities within heritage constraints pushes engineering creativity to its limits. The talent war intensifies the pressure. Adelaide competes with Sydney and Melbourne for global tech companies. Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud and Microsoft are evaluating Australian expansion plans. Lot 14 must prove it can deliver world-class facilities and attract the skilled workforce these companies demand. Current tenants include startups, research organisations and government agencies. But 2026 is when major anchor tenants must commit or the precinct risks becoming another well-intentioned development that never achieved critical mass. Success or failure here determines South Australia's high-tech future. But high-tech dreams need entertainment reality. Adelaide's next gamble involves building a 15,000-seat arena directly above active railway lines. The engineering nightmare? Keeping trains running while constructing a building overhead that could collapse if they get the calculations wrong. Project 4. Adelaide Riverbank Arena and Infrastructure the $662 million Adelaide Riverbank Arena faces a challenge that goes beyond construction, building over active railway lines while keeping trains running. Adelaide's bid to compete with Melbourne and Sydney for major touring acts, international sporting events and the economic benefits that follow. The construction complexity defies simple solutions. The arena sits directly above railway infrastructure that can't be shut down. Trains carrying thousands of passengers daily must continue operating while massive concrete structures rise overhead. Engineering teams are essentially building a bridge that happens to contain a 15,000-seat arena. Every support beam, every foundation element must account for train vibrations, weight distribution and emergency access. 
2026 brings the ultimate test. Major events and concerts are already booked. International touring acts have Adelaide on their schedules. Cancellations would devastate the city's reputation as an entertainment destination. Transport integration adds another layer of complexity. New tram lines must connect the arena to the broader public transport network. Pedestrian bridges need to handle massive crowd flows while maintaining access to existing infrastructure. The location brings both advantages and risks. Riverfront views and city centre accessibility make it attractive, but flood-prone positioning requires innovative engineering solutions. Climate change means designing for weather events that haven't happened yet. Tourism implications extend far beyond the arena itself. Success establishes Adelaide as a major events destination. Failure reinforces perceptions that the city can't handle large-scale entertainment infrastructure. Construction crews work with millimetre precision above railway tracks that vibrate every few minutes. Scheduling concrete pours around train timetables. Installing acoustic systems that isolate arena noise from transport operations below. The entertainment economy waits for proof that Adelaide can deliver world-class venues on impossible sites. Yet even impossible construction sites pale compared to the final challenge. Building warships that must perform flawlessly in combat. At Osborne Naval Shipyard, there's no room for the kind of delays plaguing Adelaide's other mega-projects. National security doesn't wait for construction schedules. Project 5. Osborne Naval Shipyard Expansion the Osborne Naval Shipyard expansion determines whether Australia can manufacture its own defence capabilities or remain dependent on overseas suppliers. $35 billion in naval shipbuilding programmes converge here. Hunter-class frigates, offshore patrol vessels and submarine maintenance facilities – the largest peacetime naval construction programme in Australian history. 2026 marks the critical phase when first major vessel construction begins. Delays here ripple through decades of defence planning. Regional tensions make naval capability increasingly urgent. The workforce development challenge is staggering. Thousands of workers need training in highly technical maritime construction, welding techniques specific to military vessels, electronics integration for combat systems, quality control standards that exceed commercial shipbuilding. International competition intensifies the pressure. Shipyards in South Korea, Japan and Europe watch for Australian failures. Defence contractors evaluate whether Australia can deliver on promises or if they should focus investment elsewhere. Supply chain challenges compound during global shortages. Specialised steel alloys, advanced electronics and precision components must arrive on schedule. Any disruption cascades through construction timelines measured in years. Geopolitical pressure adds urgency. Regional military build-ups make Australian naval capability a strategic necessity. Delays here affect alliance relationships and regional stability calculations. The economic multiplier effect is enormous. Success creates thousands of high-skilled jobs, establishes Australia as a defence manufacturing hub and generates decades of economic activity. Failure devastates South Australian manufacturing and forces continued dependence on overseas defence suppliers. Construction teams work with tolerances measured in millimetres on vessels designed to operate in the world's most demanding environments. Here's what it all comes down to. 2026 will determine if Adelaide becomes Australia's innovation capital or remains a quiet southern city. Five projects, billions of dollars, and South Australia's future hanging in the balance. Subscribe for updates as these mega-projects race toward their moment of truth.